Hello everyone, my name is Judd Wallace and I'm a staff technologist here at Cohesity. I'm going to show you how you can use Cohesity's integration with Normalize. Before I do so, let's talk about why the combination of Data Security Posture Management, or DSPM, and data protection is important. DSPM solutions provide visibility into known forgotten data repositories across various cloud platforms, classify the data into sensitive information, and determine the risk of exposure for said data. DSPM helps you understand data usage, assess the security posture of the data stored, and comply with regulations. Modern data protection solutions give you a higher chance of recovering your data in the event of a cyber attack. This is really important at the time when data volume across clouds grows exponentially, and the task of ensuring critical cloud data assets are protected has become complex. So a couple of questions this leads me to ask. What are the benefits of the integration between Cohesity and DSPM solutions? Why are organizations like yours investing in DSPM and then integrating it with Cohesity? Here are three reasons. One, discover sensitive data across cloud assets, which allows you to gain visibility into sensitive and critical data in your cloud infrastructure. Number two, prioritize the protection of sensitive data. Identify gaps in safeguarding your critical cloud workloads. Recognizing these gaps informs data protection priorities, ensuring that you can efficiently recover essential workloads when needed. And number three, report on cyber recovery risk. By combining the capabilities of DSPM solutions with Cohesity, you can augment your assessment of data security posture with your ability to recover. This results in more comprehensive understanding of cybersecurity risks, and as a result, more robust protection. So with that said, let's first dive into how to set up the integration with Normalize, then take a look at the DSPM in action. I'm going to click on Security and then go to Security Center. Here you can see we're on the CoECD dashboard. And if we click on Integrations and then click on Browse Integrations, we could see several of the partner integrations listed. We're going to go ahead and click on the Normalize integration. Here you can see the Configure button to perform the setup. Before we can perform the setup, we need to have logged in to Normalize and generated an API key, which we will use to integrate Normalize into Cohesity. Once you have the API key, you can go back to Cohesity to finish the integration setup by entering the API key and secret by clicking Configure. I'm going to go ahead and cancel since we already have our integration set up. But for you, after clicking Configure, you can see over in the integrations page under my integrations, Normalize is now active. If we click on the three dots to the right, we can edit the API key, manually kick off sync with Normalize, which will sync and ingest Cohesity alerts into Normalize. Also, you can delete the integration as well. Let's head over to data classification and then sensitive data posture. Here we can see an AWS RDS workload, which contains PII data per the DSPM tags on the right, indicating the criticality of the asset. We're also showing the protection status of each asset to help you determine protection gaps. Let's head over to the normalized console to see what we were actually syncing and ingesting in Cohesity. As you can see here, we're already logged into the normalized console, and this is the main dashboard. If we look at the UI navigation to the left, and we hover the mouse over inventory, and then we click on data stores, we can see the AWS RDS instance has high data classification PII tags as well as Cohesity protected tag. There are two Cohesity tags normalized pulls during a sync. One is Cohesity unprotected for unprotected workloads. Two is Cohesity protected for protected workloads. This completes the demonstration. Today we discussed some of the benefits of using normalized integration with Cohesity, how easy it is to set up the integration, and lastly, how it can help organizations gain a unified view 
of the protection status of their cloud data assets that contain sensitive data and prioritize backing them up easily. Thanks for watching and have a great day.